Hey there, good evening, and welcome to Tetra Key TV. Um, <clears throat> tonight is number episode 38 of 260 Facebook Lives that we're bringing to you in 2017. Um, hopefully by now you've joined us one or two, but if tonight is your first one, my name's Rob Yates, and at Tetra Key we are all about increasing performance. Performance in life, performance in sport, and importantly, performance in business and careers. And that's where we spend most of our time. It's been a very, very, very hectic day for Mark and I today. Um, so I just thought I'd share it with you a little bit as more of you come online this evening and join me. It's nine o'clock in South Africa now. And um, I left for my first meeting this morning at 5.30. So it's been quite a full day. And so what have we been up to today? So uh, what's the day in the life of business and executive coaches look like? Um, my first meeting was very, very, very early this morning. I left at 5.30. Um, I had a meeting through till 8.30. And Mark left, I think, about 6.30 this morning. And... Um, uh, had a meeting that was done by 8.30 as well. Uh, we did various things throughout the day and Mark has now flown a couple of hours down to Durban in South Africa uh, for the weekend and I'll be joining him there tomorrow morning where we're presenting a keynote speech at a new business launch which is quite exciting, a business we're partnering with. Um, the rest of our day today has been uh, pretty cool. A couple of coaching sessions, uh, we spent three hours with a new business partner designing the launch of a new business that we're going to be calling Growth Factory. Um, completely different to business coaching and executive coaching. Um, uh, yes, yeah, so that was very, very, very exciting. And uh, we started that business today with what was our three year out strategy in terms of sale value. What were we aiming for? So that is a bit of a insight into the day of uh, a couple of people who are passionate about performance and importantly we're passionate about your performance because we want you to achieve whatever the version of success is that you have um, we'd like to achieve that you to achieve that for yourself and that's why we're going about doing all of this free content in 2017. Um, so what else to tell you well tonight um, I want to let you into a secret. I want to let you into the story behind possibly the biggest mistake I've personally made in business. Uh, I'm a firm believer that, that knowing what to do is of immense value, but knowing what not to do is, is just as important. And if you could do that by learning from a mistake that I've made, um, then so much so be it, so be it the better fit for you. So that's what I wanted to let you into tonight. I haven't actually told anybody um, this before. This is going to be the first time that I, I vocalise it on Facebook Live to you this evening. So uh, I hope you value it. A couple of things before we get into that biggest mistake of mine. Um, uh, number one, download the book. You'll find that in the link, The Profitable You to Unstoppable Success. And number two, if you want to take part in our hashtag get coached fly on the wall documentary where we will give you for free three months free business coaching um, and also give you the opportunity within that to have your business positively profiled um, to all of our social media outlets throughout that three month period please go and apply. The closing date for applications is the 10th of March and you can apply by going to tetrakey.com forward slash get coached. So that's tetrakey.com forward slash get coached and if that's too hard just email us who you are, uh, about your, you and your business and about why you want to join the Get Coached uh, Fly on the Wall documentary series for uh, three months of free business coaching from Mark and myself, email that info at tetrakey.com and, um, uh, and yeah, please come along. Um, we've had some really, really cool people and some really cool applications so far from uh, around the world and we look forward to sharing with you what it is that the next stage will be once you've applied. 
So there we are. As with ever on Facebook Live, please click share, please click like, please ask questions in the comments box, and please send us your feedback. What do you like, what do you not like, uh, what would you like to hear more of, what's your challenge? What challenges are you facing? Tell us what challenges and problems you're having, and we'll start giving you some ideas for, uh, for how do we overcome those? And, and, and we're already doing that. Several people have already sent us uh, emails. Um, Josh in Vancouver, Canada, uh, kind of primed me up for one of the Facebook Lives we did last week. So, so yeah, let us know. So here we are. Let's go and have a little think now about this uh, biggest mistake, uh, possibly the biggest mistake actually I've made in business. Um, and I want to think back uh, 12 years ago now to when I set up my first business. Um, before that, I had a successful um, corporate career. I worked a lot for the government in the UK um, in, in relatively big jobs. I had uh, 2,500 people working for me at one point in time. And um, I suppose out of frustration, I left that job to go and do my own thing, to set up my own business. And, um, and the business I chose to set up was directly linked to my passion and my hobby, which is all around adventure sports. Um, so I set a business up and um, I had some money. That was quite nice as well. And, and so the first thing I did is I we got a website built and um, I spent ages writing a huge long business plan. And I'm talking 56 pages with financials and projections and blah, 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 blah. And, uh, and that was probably mistake number one, to be honest with you, because I missed probably my first two months worth of trading in setting the business up. And, and frankly, that stuff... There was only me at this point in time. I was hard hiring people on a part-time basis. I didn't really need this massive 56-page plan. And I've come to learn now that actually for all of my businesses, I can fit 100% of everything I need on one page when I go and build a, build a business and build a business plan. So there you go. There, there's a, a bit of a small mistake. But I went out doing what I thought was right. You know, you set up a business so you get some offices. And, and then you go and get some uh, equipment. And you, in, in my case, that was uh, mountain bikes and canoes and kayaks. And I got a, a couple of big trailers to transport that around and some, some nice uh, people carriers, you know, sort of vehicles that can seat nine to 12 people and got them all branded with lovely big logos down the side of it. And, and uh, and probably in, in that first uh, first three to six months, uh, I, I concentrated lots on making the business look good, having all of the best equipment, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and, and spent in the region of a hundred thousand um, pounds at that point in time, twelve years ago, in, in achieving just that, and maybe more than that actually, uh, maybe a hundred and fifty. Um, and, and, and then it came that suddenly I got this wonderful business. It was all registered. We had bank accounts. We had credit cards. We had equipment. We had offices. We had vans. We had everything that you possibly could need. Life jackets, uh, uh, overall suits for people to keep them warm and dry in the uh, English winter. And, um, and it got to the point where I had all this wonderful kit. It was shiny. It was Gucci. It was new. It was wonderful. And I didn't have any customers. And, and, and I suppose that's what I want to share to you with you, the, the biggest mistake. It is the fact that I took my business for six to seven months all the way through with this. And I was just talk, telling people the whole time, yeah, I've got a business. Check me out. Proud business owner. And um, I didn't actually have any customers. Or, correction, the quantity of customers I had was exceptionally minimal. Um, and all of those customers really came to get coached or taught by me as opposed to by other people that I could employ. They all wanted a bit of me, my expertise. And so how does that really translate? What do I do differently now? So if I was to set that same business up again, um, I wouldn't be concerned at all with the equipment that I bought or the fanciness, the vehicles, the trailer, um, the anything, the other uh, uh, location, nothing of that would, would be a concern. The only thing that would be a concern to me would be marketing to what in that industry would be the two core 
most uh, profitable groups of potential clients and also at the same time clients that can be worked with by other people who are not me and in the case of the adventure sports industry that's working with children and it's working with corporate groups. Um, and so, so my learning from this and now I apply this to every business is that the marketing of your business is the primary task. The marketing of your business is the petrol that goes into the fuel tank of your car um, and allows the, the engine to work and um, allows the vehicle to progress in the direction you wish for it to go. And so in that difference now, uh, I market. I market to those sorts of client groups I just mentioned. So the ones that are highest, profitabil highest profit profitability, uh, lowest in terms of man hours, stress, whatever else, and can be delivered by other people as opposed to myself. And I wait to go and buy any of those resources or sort any of those resources until the contracts start coming in. Now, many people who I've spoken to about this start playing the what if, or what if I couldn't get it in time, what if, what if, what if, what if, what if, all the negatives, what if, the threat, what ifs. And here's the thing, when you've got that contract, in my experience, you are always able to make a plan. You are always able to go and beg, borrow, steal and buy the resources that you need. You can always find the location you need. You can always do all those things, but here's the thing, you're doing all of those and buying all of those things with your first large check that comes in. And you're still using your investment into marketing. Because remember that marketing is a com has a compounding effect. So if it costs $50 to market to get a client and you can sell the client a $500 product, that means that you've got now 450 extra dollars on top of your original 500 to go and market again. That will produce 10 clients. That will produce $5,000. You reinvest the $5,000 into marketing. That goes and produces uh, 5,000. A lot of clients. Uh, 100,000. No, I can't do the maths. The maths have gone brain dead. Uh, 1,500. Uh, 1,000 clients. Uh, and so on and so forth. So... Sorry, the maths have gone, it's late at night, it's been a 15 hour working day, but you get the message, it compounds on each other. And you're using your money to invest in something that's got a compound return on it, just like if you were to invest your money into a high interest savings account or a forex account or something of that nature. So my biggest mistake was trying to make the business and me look good. Loads of branding, branding clothing, blah, 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 and um, putting... 85% of my upfront investment into that business and not leaving enough to go and market with successfully. Um, my difference now is I use the 85% to market and the 15 to do the bare minimum in terms of branding to make me look good enough. And so that honestly is my biggest mistake in business. And often it is the biggest mistake that I experience with most startups I get involved with. Um, uh, the, the desire to take money too quickly out of the business in the early stages and also investing in the wrong stuff at the start. Your business is only worth to you the quantity of clients you have coming through the doors and the only way you get that is through successful media and marketing. And so everything else is irrelevant. You can have the best business structure in the world. Like, it's like having the best restaurant that's hidden. You've got the chefs, the tables, the chairs, the cutlery, the crockery, the menu, the decor, the, everything else. And there's no gateway or door for people to enter your restaurant in. So you've got the best of everything and yet you don't have any customers. And so there you go. That's my, my biggest mistake. That's the one that I always look back at and go... Uh, I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish. Um, I, I wish at that point in time I'd had the opportunity to have a coach for myself, so on and so forth. But, um, but that's it for you. That's it for you. If you're a business owner, I'd advise you that you should be looking to spend 60% of your working time on marketing your business. Um, and marketing the bits of the business that are most profitable that other people can do for you. Um, 
that then works on the premise. You can only sell one hour once. So if you're selling 10 people's hours, you can sell one hour 10 times. So, so there we go. My biggest mistake in business. It's short, it's sweet. Um, if you want to get involved with our Fly on the Wall documentary, get coached. Um, go to tetrakey.com forward slash get coached. Fill in the form, press submit. It'll arrive here and I'll tell you what to do next. Um, go and download the book. Uh, the Profitable You to Unstoppable Success. And our next book is going to be coming out on the 1st of March to all of those people who have downloaded book number one. So get ahead of the curve. Um, and that's it. I'm off to go to bed now. Uh, I've got to be up at, I think, quarter to four tomorrow morning. I fly very, very early tomorrow morning. I think my flight takes off at 5.45 or 5.30. So um, I've got to be up as bright and early as possible and uh, my return flight doesn't get back to 11 o'clock tomorrow night. So I will do Facebook Live tomorrow from Durban. So have a great 24 hours. Be amazing. Get, in, get involved with hashtag get coached. Tetrakey.com get coached. Do not miss this opportunity. Um, it isn't something that's going to be repeated again quickly and it gives you the business to pro the opportunity to profile your business globally in front of thousands and thousands and thousands of people for 12 weeks. So that's it from me. Have an amazing 24 hours. I'll tell you more about how our talk went tomorrow morning, uh, about the business meetings we've got with a couple of CEOs tomorrow afternoon. And um, have a great have a great evening. And Nicolette, yes, I will be in Durban tomorrow. Drop me a line if you want to grab a coffee. See you later.